Loving and compassionate God, we come before you with grateful hearts, knowing that you are the source of all healing and restoration. As we gather to explore your word, we ask for your presence and guidance. Open our hearts to receive the message you have for us through Matthew chapter 9, verse 18 meters to 26. May this reading inspire us to seek your healing touch and to trust in your power to bring transformation. In your holy name, we pray, Amen. While he was saying this, a synagogue leader came and knelt before him and said, My daughter has just died, but come and put your hand on her, and she will live. Jesus got up and went with him, and so did his disciples. Just then a woman who had been subject to bleeding for twelve years came up behind him and touched the edge of his cloak. She said to herself, If I only touch his cloak, I will be healed. Jesus turned and saw her. Take heart, daughter, he said. Your faith has healed you. And the woman was healed. At that moment, when Jesus entered the synagogue leader's house and saw the noisy crowd and people playing pipes, he said, Go away. The girl is not dead, but asleep. But they laughed at him. After the crowd had been put outside, he went in and took the girl by the hand and she got up. News of this spread through all that region. Gracious God, as we reflect on the passage we have just read, we are reminded of your power to bring healing and restoration. We witness the faith of the synagogue leader who knelt before Jesus, pleading for his daughter's life. We see the desperate faith of the woman who had suffered from bleeding for twelve years, believing that even a touch of Jesus' cloak would bring healing. Lord, we are moved by the compassion and authority of Jesus as he responds to their cries for help. We see how you meet us in our deepest pain and bring hope and life to the most desperate situations. You see beyond our circumstances and meet us with your transforming love. We recognize the importance of faith in experiencing your healing touch. Just as you commended the woman for her faith, we ask for the faith to believe in your power to heal and restore. Help us to trust in your timing and your plan, even when we face doubt or despair. Heavenly Father, we come before you, knowing that you are the great physician who brings healing and restoration. We lift up to you those who are suffering from physical, emotional, or spiritual ailments. May they experience your healing touch and be filled with hope and strength. Lord, we pray for those who are facing desperate situations and crying out for your intervention. Help them to hold on to their faith, believing that you are able to bring life even to the most hopeless circumstances. May they encounter your loving presence and experience the power of your resurrection. We ask for the faith to trust in your timing and plan even when it seems impossible. Grant us the patience to wait upon you and the courage to surrender our worries and fears into your hands. Strengthen our faith, that we may be bold in seeking your healing touch and trusting in your goodness. We also lift up to you the caregivers, doctors, nurses, and all those who provide medical and emotional support to the suffering. Grant them wisdom, compassion, and strength as they offer care and support to those in need. May the testimonies of your healing power spread throughout the world, bringing hope and faith to all who hear. May our lives bear witness to your transformative work and draw others to seek your healing touch. In your merciful and loving name, we pray. Amen. Gracious and merciful God, as we conclude this time of prayer and reflection, we thank you for the powerful message we have received through Matthew chapter 9, verse 18 to 26. May it inspire us to seek your healing touch and to trust in your power to bring transformation. May our lives reflect the hope and faith that comes from encountering you. In your holy name, we pray. Amen.